Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start UVing. Uh, we already have the UVs done, but we're going to start laying out the stool that you guys did last week. So all UVs should be complete on this before you move on. Um, what we're going to want to go ahead and do is hold right click, go to object mode, make sure we are in object mode and everything is selected. Once you have everything selected, we're going to go ahead and click these three buttons up here, center pivot, delete history, and freeze transforms. That'll protect you guys from uh, any of you that use trans transfer attributes. Uh, it'll make sure this stuff doesn't break when we uh, go through it later. So now that we have everything selected, we can go to object mode, make sure everything is glowing. Go to UV shell in the right side over here and select all of our shells. We're going to do a few things here. Um, but actually, before we select all of our shells, let's select one. We have to go to transform, get the texel density of this one, hold shift and select all the other ones, and set everything to that same exact textile density. Once everything's set to that same exact textile density, we can go ahead and line them up. So we're going to go ahead and grab all of them, shift, right click, so that it's shift, and then right click, and then orient shells. This will straighten all the shells for you, so when we pack them here in the minute, they won't look all gross. So, now that we're ready to pack them, we're just going to go ahead and click and drag, so that's left click and hold, draw this box around all of your stuff, shift, right click, layout, layout options, so this white box here, make sure you're not clicking the word, you're clicking this white box, click that, uh, that right there. I'm going to screenshot and post my settings in the classroom so you can copy them easier and see them better. Um, but for now, the, these are my settings and these are what I normally run is uh, leave this how it is. Shell pre-rotation and shell pre-scaling are both off. Translate and uh, rotate shells are both check marked. So check, check. And then rotation steps, 90. Maximum shell rotation, 0. Maximum shell rotation, uh, 360. I'm going to say minimum up here. And on texture map size, I have mine set to 1024. And padding units, I have it on pixels. Shell padding, 5. Tile padding, 5. Tiles U and V are both 1, 1. They're always going to be that way. So, and now you can see what happens with all the selected. So we're going to make sure we have it clicked and dragged, everything selected. And now we can make sure we are using Unfold 3D and hit Apply. And everything should pack in here automatically and be sized well. Um, if you want to go ahead and go a little bit above and beyond and make sure it packs even better, um, you can cut this one right here and then repack it. But as you can see, mine crashed. <laughs> um, but after you guys have that, that's fine enough. Uh, you can go ahead and take a screenshot and upload it to the classroom. But yeah, that's all I had. Um, it should only take you guys really about five minutes, but you're going to have two days to do it just so everybody can get caught up. Have a great time. Okay, guys, take it easy.